Hola mi gente and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, hi, my name is Alexandra and I would love for you to join my family. All right guys, so today's video, if you read the little description, is about Tati Beauty Blendiful, again, but this video is about whether it could blend really well. Full coverage foundation. Last time I used a medium coverage liquid foundation so I really wanted to see if it could blend out and make it look as airbrushed as it did last time but with a full coverage foundation. So let's get to it. So first off I am going to prime my face. Very important. So first I'm going to go with my photo finish smooth and blur and then I'm just going to take it on the blendiful and put it wherever I want to put it on my face. If you guys have not seen my review on this, you can find it. I'll put it in the description box below. I'm putting it all over my face except for my T-zone. For that, I'm going to use my e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I'm just going to put it on the sponge and put it wherever I have my pores. Right here, close to the nose, on my nose. For sure. I mean, who doesn't have pores on their nose? On my chin, and then on the middle of my forehead. Okay. And if you guys hear like footsteps, those are my nieces. So don't mind them. So for the foot coverage foundation, the most foot coverage foundation I have and that has blown my mind away always has been the Smashbox Full Coverage Foundation. Now this came out a while ago, came out like in the summer, and I loved it because it covered all of my insecurities, which are my pimples, my acne scars, all of that. It just erased it. <laughs> so, I'm gonna use this today with the Blendiful. Usually I use a Kabuki brush for that, like something like this, like very dense, so it could blend it out really well. But I wanted to try this today. I have a feeling it will blend it out because of how it is. But let's see. I'm just going to put it on the back of my hand. You don't need a lot with this foundation, that's for sure. And then I'm just going to dab it onto the Blendiful. And then, ooh, you see how full coverage that is? You guys see what I mean? Oh my god, it's blending out really nicely. Like, do you guys see how well this is blending out? Oh my god, it's blending it out like a dream. Do you see this face compared to this one? Drastic. Okay. And then I'm just gonna do this side. Oh, look at the coverage. Oh my god, I love how this is blending it out. Blending out nice and smoothly. I just love full coverage foundation guys but the reason being because of my skin I want to cover up those blemishes as much as I can because it is an insecurity of mine I mean one of the reasons why I got into makeup in the first place was because of my acne so that's why I love me some full coverage foundation All right now I am just patting it into the skin Making sure everything looks nice and blend it out. Whew. That blended out really well. Look at how airbrushed that looks. And it was way faster. This thing just keeps blowing my mind, to be honest. Okay, now I'm just going to conceal my face with the NYX Born to Go Concealer. I'm just gonna put that right under. Cancel out those dark circles. Pearl by school. In the middle of my nose. And then the middle of my forehead a little bit. And now we're just going to blend it out. Using tapping motions under the eyes. Same on the other side. Really just blending everything out here. My chin, my forehead. And then I'm just blending out the middle of my nose now. Right, now that that's done. Now I'm going to go into some setting power. Blah, powder. <laughs> Can't talk for some reason. And I'm gonna use my translucent banana from Milani. And after that, I'm gonna take a clean section from the Blendiful, getting it under, and then really just opening up the eye and really getting in there to really airbrush it. 
I love how this airbrushes everything. Okay, not the same on the other side. Really just getting it in there. All right, and now I'm just gonna do the rest of my face. Really powder everything because we want it to look flawless and airbrush. And I'm really gonna concentrate right here, pat it in really well. Because if you really want to set a powder, you pat it in very well. And I make sure this is especially on the sides of my mouth. Because like I said in all my videos, I smile a lot. And that's the part I want less to crease. Okay, now I'm just going to put concealer on my eyes. To cancel out any discoloration. And then blend it out with the Blendiful. Doing the same on the other side. Really quickly. Okay. And then I'm just going to use the powder and then just set my lid the same way how I set the rest of my face and then I'm gonna set this eye so now I'm just gonna do some bronzer and I'm going to take my Morphe Y4 smile and then just blend it where I need to just like that and I'm just gonna do the other side the same way. Smiling and then just bending it where I need to. All right, now you guys might be wondering why I'm not using the Blendiful to contour my face and stuff. And I like the Blendiful for like setting your face and applying foundation, but I just find it easier to use a brush. Nothing against the Blendiful. You can see that in my previous video and I just do a little bit on my forehead because I don't I have a small forehead naturally so I don't really like need to make it smaller if you know what I mean now I do like to use the blendable for nose contour tap it where I want to contour my nose and I'm right under my nose because I want my nose to look uplifted and I'm just going to take the blendable go back into some setting powder and just make the line I want to snatch my nose even more because we all want a snatched nose am I right and then just tapping it into the nose because I feel like we all get oily or at least I get oily on my nose and then I'm just gonna tap it on just to make sure everything's nice and blended okay now it's time for some blush let's get some life back into the skin and I'm actually gonna take the little blender form this is so cute and I'm just gonna put it on I'm using my Milani blush and Rosa de Oro I'm just gonna smile and tap it on wherever I want there to be blush. Very simple, very easy. I mean, come on. I know for makeup, we all don't like to complicate our lives. So I just smile because, you know, you want to blush where you smile or when you smile. And I'm just gonna put a little bit more on the apples of my cheeks. Okay, and now, Using the same little baby blendable. I'm gonna go into the Jaka and Hill. I think it's the Moonlight. What? It's like the, the powder. And I'm just going to take that and put it on the fronts of my cheeks. Really just dab it there, just like this. Smile. And then under the eye, because I do like it to look a little luminous under the eye i just find it nice so that 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 <laughs> i just love putting some go to the front of my cheeks now it's time for some highlight <laughs> ew sounded crazy anyways so i'm gonna use my physician's formula pet so glow and freshly picked I think this is like the third time I'm using this ever since I tried it, but it's because I just love it. 
So I'm gonna take it and then fab it where I want my highlight to go. And then I'm just gonna do it the other side. The same way. Okay. Now I'm just gonna do my nose. Now for the nose, I'm just gonna fab it where I want it to go. And then take whatever is left and put it above my brow. Just like that. Alright. Now I'm just going to put on some gloss. Because today I'm just going to keep it simple. Put on. Slept on gloss from Kylie. Which is her high gloss. Love them. Okay. So I'm just going to do my eyeshadow and my lashes off camera. And I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I've done my shadow, put on some mascara and lashes, and this is the end result. Oh, my God, guys. I love how this applies the foundation and powder. It just looks so airbrushed. Oh, my God. I was a little bit iffy if it was going to apply full coverage foundation the same way as medium, or like a less creamier foundation than the Spashbox one because it's really full coverage and it did a wonderful job it just blended everything so nicely I mean you guys saw this little guy keeps surprising me like just love it I love these two for planning for setting my face for foundation love this one and primer applying primer and then this one for my blush and then to highlight my cheeks. Love it. So yeah, guys. We have come to the end of this video. I hope you guys liked this video. And if you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Alright. Bye, guys.